What's going on, everybody? Got the crazy doll back for another video. This video will be a five, count them, five bold predictions for 2016 NFL season. So I will start from number five all the way to number one. So let's get going. At number five, one of the coaches hired this year will be fired. Who will it be? Hmm, I don't know. But I think one may be fired because something may not go as they planned and they are just tired of it. Maybe the players don't like him or you never know. So that could happen. Number four. The Browns, you know I had to do one about my Browns. The Browns will have a 1,000-yard receiver. I don't, I think the last time we had that was Josh Gordon, if I'm not mistaken. We all know what Josh Gordon is doing right now. Pfft. What a dummy. But, Coy Coleman could very well be a 1,000-yard receiver. We haven't had one, I think, since Josh Gordon, if not him. It's been a long time. My number three prediction for you Eagles fans. The Eagles will win seven games under Doug Peterson. Oh my God. Am I, am I on some sort of drugs or something? No. The Eagles have talent. If Doug Peterson utilizes that talent to their potential, they can easily win seven games. I mean, my, of course, week one's all I care about. After that, I don't give a crap. I hope the Eagles win the next three games in the AFC North. I don't think they will, though. I think they'll go 2-2 two and two in the AFC North. The Bungles suck. The Ravens suck. The Browns and the Steelers, they're probably going to lose, too. Most likely. Speaking of those wretched Bungles, I don't think the Bengals are going to make the playoffs this year. No. They're going to miss the playoffs because this team, there's, there's so many idiots on that team. Just something's going to go on. You know, either someone's going to get hurt or Dalton's just going to fall off because without Hugh Jackson, that offense is going to have a new play style, which they may not be used to. But, but this may be the final straw for Marvin Lewis. He could be fired if they miss the playoffs this year. That dude's been given so many chances. 0-7 in the playoffs, and he is still their coach. Not just 0-7 in the playoffs. They've lost in the first round. Wild card games. Not, you know, second round. They didn't have a, they'd never had a bye week. They've lost in the wild card round the past seven times they've made the playoffs. The last time they made the playoffs, the Houston Oilers were still a team. And that, by the way, was the team they beat. Oof. Now, my number one prediction. This could be, this could come true. Bronco fans. Paxton Lynch will start at some point in the season for the Broncos. If Mark Sanchez goes into this season as your starting QB, the fans are going to be treated to trash because Mark Sanchez freaking sucks. Although, for all I know, John Elway could bring out the best in Mark. But he's still Mark Sanchez. And he's going to mess up somehow, some way or another. He's either going to throw four or five picks in a game, or he's going to fumble the ball on a crucial possession, or he's just going to be horrible like he's been, like we know him to be. So, um, some of the predictions, some of the, t the predictions that didn't make the cut were the Raiders make the playoffs, which if the Raiders made the playoffs, the freaking world would explode. Number two, and probably the most nutty of them all, the New York Jets make the playoffs. Yes, I did a lot of playoffs one, but then... I was going to do about, I was thinking about doing the Jets make the playoffs one, but that one didn't sound as awesome. No, didn't sound as awesome. 
But how about the Los Angeles Rams? Start Jared Goff at some point this year. Yeah, those two didn't make the cut. Because either A, I, you know, didn't they didn't sound too crazy. Or B, I just didn't really think that... I mean, Jared Goff would probably wind up starting the whole season, the most likely. But I think the most ridiculous one of the five will be the Eagles winning seven games. Because... I really don't think any of the teams that hired their coach this year have that short of a leash to where they would fire their their guy after one year. Unless you're the Giants because the guy that you hired was in-house. But you never know these days. Things happen. But who knows who it'll be? Chip Kelly? No, I don't know. The Niner Empire, they don't – They will they tolerate Chip? Pfft, probably for a year. Then, then after this year, they're going to be calling for his head if they don't win, like, upwards of, like, six, seven games. They have anywhere near a season as last year. Nine, nine, the Niner Empire will be calling for Chip's head after this year. Maybe even after the first week, if he sucks hard enough. But the one that I see happening the most will be the Bengals missing the playoffs. Yeah. Of the five, that one may be the most legit to happen because the Bengals have been falling off. Like I said, Hugh Jackson came to Cleveland. He's now our head coach. And now the AFC North is going to be that much tougher. And then the Steelers, they're getting better. They're refurbishing. Their re so-called reconstructing is pretty much complete. They just had to refill a few spots. They're good to go. The Ravens. They're going to bounce back. They're not going to have that as horrible of a season as they did last year. And the Browns, I remember, I predicted they could win 10 games. But I think the minimum amount of games they could win is 8 this year. Hugh Jackson's too good of a coach to not win at least 8 games. If we win 8 games, oh my goodness. Mm, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? 8 games in a coach's first year? We've never heard of such a thing. But then again, the Browns having a 1,000-yard receiver? I don't even know when that happened. If maybe it was Josh Gordon. I'm not sure if it was Josh Gordon or not. I think it might. I think he did get 1,000 yards. But that would be pretty cool. Um, 1,000-yard receiver? Maybe Corey Coleman? It has to be Corey Coleman. I mean, I don't see anyone else in that receiving core getting a thousand yards. So, those are my five outrageous predictions for this season. If you like them, give the give this video a good old thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, one screw you, and B give it a thumbs down. Like this, like for more. Subscribe. And please comment what your five outrageous predictions for this year will be. And uh, we'll see who has some out crazy predictions. So, as always, I am the Crazy Dog 99. I make some crazy, crazy predictions and talk crazy about my Browns. As always, I'm a crazy Browns fan. And go Browns. We're in the Hugh World Order. If you haven't seen my Twitter, I got hashtag Hugh World Order in my, uh, as one of the uh, hashtags. Speaking of which, Anderson Verizhao is playing right now for the Warriors. Yeah, he's in the game right now. Hmm, it sucks seeing him in those colors. So sad. <laughs> but, anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day tomorrow. I'm going to be getting to bed here very soon. It's past almost one. It's almost one o'clock where I live. So I should be getting to bed. Yeah. So I will see you all tomorrow or later. Probably with another video. Maybe another five outrageous predictions this time for my Browns. And I guess I will be getting back to the NFL draft slash season review and preview very soon. 
and I'll see you all later on. I'm Crazy Dog 99, and I'm out.